When replacing the thumb throttle, I like to start by loosening the brake cable first. That'll give me play to pull the brake calipers off on top of the handle. First, you're going to use a 3 millimeter Allen head wrench to loosen the grips. Loosen the Allen head screws to get the grip loose. Once the screws are loosened, you can pull the grip off and the end plug will come with it. Pull that all out of the way and set it to the side. Now with your 5 millimeter wrench, you're going to loosen the nut here on bottom of the brake lever. Once you get the brake lever loose, pull gently on it to expose the zip ties on the cannon plugs. Clip those loose. Now you can pull the cannon plug loose. They're going to be hard to pull but that keeps them watertight. Now on the brake, you should be able to pull it off the handle and set it to the side. Underneath the thumb throttle is a two and a half millimeter Allen head. I'm going to loosen that until it's loose enough to pull it off the handlebar. Now with the new thumb throttle, we're just going to reverse the process, starting with the thumb throttle first. Once you get it on the handlebar, insert your two and a half millimeter wrench, get to the desired angle, and snug it down onto the handlebars. Now, attach your brake lever to the handlebars, slide it on, make sure these are on the inside without the brake cable between them. You can attach either one first, lining them up, there's a small gap here, it fits together. Same on here. Okay, now start by pushing the grommet back in if it come loose. And these cables are going to sit together against the handlebar. Run one zip tie without catching the brake cable around the top. I just snug it up until I get my second one on. Now you can pull them snug and clip the ends with a pair of cutters. Now to set the brake lever, push it in. Be sure to leave a gap between the throttle and the lever. You don't want to have it interfere with your throttle. Find a comfortable position and lock it down tight. Now when reattaching the grips, you'll see it's grooved, the same with the metal pieces that fasten it down. Line those grooves up so it fits together and slide it onto the handle. Once it's in a desired position, take your 3 millimeter Allen head and tighten both rings into place. Once those are tightened into place, you can reattach the plug on the end of the handlebar by just gently pushing it in. Now that we've got everything reattached to the handle, we need to remember to go back and reattach the brake cable at the bottom caliper. When you're pulling your cable tight, make sure that the housing is set inside of the barrel adjustment. Once you've got that, now you're just readjusting the cable with a 5 millimeter Allen head. Make sure to check and pull and nothing comes loose and your adjustments proper.